Welcome to Speak a Blessing, featuring the men in white, our executive producer, Sister Pat Reagan. Today we have, as our special guest, we have the legendary, the gospel pioneer, Brother Paul Beasley in the gospel keynotes. Welcome to the show. Oh, pleasure. God bless you. God bless you. Thank How you like our fair city once again? Love it. Love it. Love it. <laughs> you know, years back we used to come here. Amen. So whenever they say Buffalo, I feel like I'm coming home. Amen. <laughs> Amen. We're going to get right into this interview. Um, you have a CD out. And um, cure your name. I don't know. What he done for you, but I know what he done for me. Oh, right. <laughs> Amen. Come on, come on, because I was getting ready to get to that. I was going to say, you know, where do people, what is their reaction when they hear that title, I don't know? Well, you know, uh, one of the strangest, to me, it's a little comical when they come out. You know, people say, what's the title of your, uh, your project? And I always tell them, I don't know. And they look at me and say, don't know the title of your project. <laughs> I, mean, what it is. Now, I don't know what he done for you, but I know what he done for me. They just cut it off. Cut it off. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. Now you're one of the original gospel keynotes. Right. Now, how long have it been, you know, linked together with the gospel keynotes? I'm saying about 51 years. 51 years. Praise the Lord. Now, are you just the only original, any more original members here? Yeah. I see you got the you got the band with you. Oh, yeah, I got the band, and, and uh, he's the band, and uh, Malik Sanger. All right, all Randy. right. Uh -huh. Brother Randy. Right. Can, we, can we get some names while we're here? Can we? Okay. Brother Randy? Randy Anderson. Well, wherever you want to start, sir. It's well, that's fine. So, <laughs> so, so, <laughs> Randy Anderson. Randall B. Jr., known as RJ. Marco Gaston. David Jackson. Randall Lee Sr., known as J.R. Amen, 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 amen. Well, as a matter of fact, this is a, this is father and son. Father and son? Amen, 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 amen. amen. You all look, all look. <laughs> <laughs> To God be the glory, yes, to God sir. be the glory. Yes, sir. Um, when did you first start singing? Well, I was about, uh, I was singing between 14, 15 years old. Professionally, uh, by some say I'm about 17 years old, and uh, started singing in the church, church choir. And, uh, matter of fact, uh, my father and they kept us in the church singing, and so that's that's all I, myself and my sister. You know, we started playing together. You know, we come up and and from there, uh, so singing quartet. You know, with my uncle at a young age. Jeff Willie Johnson, the country boy, from oh, God's wow, call, wow. Wow. you know, and, uh, but uh, we started and uh, just traveling, going to cities in Texas, Louisiana, but uh, eventually God bless us to kind of spread out, we met the company, Nashville Record Company in Nashville, Tennessee, and we started spreading out uh, further and further. As a matter of fact, it's a group, you probably know the group, uh, the Brooklyn All Star, Reverend Thomas Fan. He's the one who picked us up and started carrying us around with him. And we would open up every night with three songs. Every night. And then once we got into the studio recorded, our music started playing good for us. And we've been going here since. It hadn't been easy on because we started off like that. Uh, Something that, you know, they wouldn't let us sing. They never heard, heard of us, they wouldn't let us sing. You know, but uh, we kept going. We didn't, we didn't get discouraged. We prayed, keep going. And they used to have a great big ball party. Uh, so every year in Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. And I never forget the first time we went there, we had to pay to go in. Uh, yeah, but he was on the ticket. No, 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 we were on the ticket. Uh, matter of fact, uh, Tommy Spann, Rev Spann, took us there. He said, if you want to come in, you got to pay. So we paid to go in. Wow. So it hasn't been easy, but God has blessed us. You know, we kept faith Amen. and belief, belief in Him. And uh, He just began to open doors for us. And we've been going ever since. Ever since. And as my father used to say, everything just 
every round goes higher and higher Amen. in the Lord. Amen. Amen. Now I know, I know that you've been blessed in so many ways. Do you actually play an instrument or you just sing or what is your, I, I, I know it's Paul Beasley, that big banner, that headline, but what else do Paul Beasley do? Believe it or not now, I was the original bass player for the gospel. <laughs> <Amen. laughs> and uh, by, you know, they had me singing so much, so we got uh, another young man to play bass, and I just quit playing, period. And just uh, sing, sing right play bass, and just don't be, you know. What's happening? Twice, I went twice with another group, the clouds. 
that's something that you think in the near future that you would ever do. Oh, I mean, I would love to do Because they need to be spread everywhere. Like I said, you know, God has been through it. He's taken the place of that. I know he's dreaming of it. Yeah. <laughs> 